Hello again. Tropical Cyclone Trevor has formed overnight off the far north Queensland coast in the Coral Sea. Currently at Category 1, Trevor is drifting slowly west towards the coast and it's likely to make landfall during Tuesday evening. A cyclone warning has been issued for coastal areas of eastern Cape York from Orford Ness down to Cape Flattery and a cyclone watch extends further afield from the tip of Cape York down to Cape Tribulation and further inland across the peninsula. Gales may develop over northern coastal waters from today, with those stronger winds expected to affect the coast during Tuesday. We expect Cyclone Trevor to reach Category 2 intensity as it approaches the coast, and wind gusts may exceed 125 km per hour near the centre as it crosses the coast, which at this stage looks set to be just south of Lockhart River. We'll see abnormally high tides and rain will increase as well. Heavier falls will come with those onshore winds on the southern flank of the cyclone, north of about Cairns from Tuesday. Flash flooding will be a risk and keep an eye out for any flood watches issued. Thankfully though, those heavier falls are unlikely to affect those areas around Townsville and through the interior north of Queensland that were impacted by the floods earlier this year. As Trevor crosses the peninsula, it may weaken to tropical low intensity and then move into the Gulf of Carpentaria during midweek. At this stage, all indications are that Trevor will re-intensify the cyclone strength during the second half of the week, so coastal communities throughout the Gulf on both the Queensland and Northern Territory sides need to follow developments closely. Make sure to check back with us regularly on our website, app and on social media over the coming days for the latest official Bureau forecasts and warnings. And please follow all advice from emergency services.